Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So, get ready to bring you your energy update for today. Don't forget, flip your roles. Take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment, okay? All right, my spirit team, what is Sagittarius's energy? <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you, my true gods, for showing up. Thank you for closing the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. And so it is. All right, Sage. So you feeling a little restricted here. I don't know if this past, present, or future energies, um, but however, get in where you fit in. And of course, if you don't fit, don't force it, right? So with the financial constraint card coming out, it could be literally about your finances or it could be about something you value whatever it is it's like you're feeling um stuck restricted um confined i can probably think about a thousand things to say about it but cornucopia comes out and this is about your wish fulfillment so whatever it is that you've been hoping for and praying for you may feel like it's a lot of delays in you receiving that, okay? You may be looking for job fulfillment. You may be looking for love or whatever it is that you've been praying for. Um, you feel, I feel as though it's like you're in this energy of um, not really moving forward here, okay? I got the journey card in the reverse and the attachment card upright. And again, it's a force of habit. Because this is a pattern of yours. It's like an emotional pattern um, where you should be moving on and moving forward here and tr and taking new routes and um, trying new things and um, shifting your perspective. You may wear this mask of pretense, okay? Or you may wear this mask of contentment like, oh, I'm good, you know, it's all good. You know, I'm all right, but really deep down inside, you're going through a hundred different thousand emotions and you may be thinking negatively or thinking about the past, but in, in reality, you're feeling very restricted. Okay. So tell me about this energy. Yeah. The moon card comes out. It's an illusion, honey. Okay. Um, you got to. Kind of listen to your intuition right now to have strength and courage here with the strength card coming out. Even though it's some things that you can't actually see, okay, with your physical eye, it does not mean that it's not manifesting. And sometimes if we keep seeing um, through the, if we see through the illusions and we start to see things a little differently. But if you keep focusing on what is not it's like we're almost making our problems bigger than what they should be, right? And I'm saying we, just saying it's, you know, collectively, okay? But, however, tell me about what it is that Sagittarius wants. Why do they feel so restricted here? What is it? Woo. Six of Wands comes out in the reverse position. Something you're trying to achieve, okay? Um... Whatever this goal is, I feel like you may not feel recognized. Hmm. Let me see something here. Okay, nope. One second. Hold on, y'all. My intuition is telling me to read it. The Six of Wands from the book from the Everyday Witch Tarot is what I'm using right now. Um, just to see what it is saying from there. Okay? Because sometimes... Their meanings of um, these cards are way different. But let me see if I can get it. Two of Wands, three, four, seven, six. Okay, so it says things to consider. The Six of Wands is a sign that you are doing something right or seen will be recognized for your efforts. Okay, so you may not be feeling, again, recognized for your efforts. Yeah, you're you are looking for some type of victory here, and I feel like you want recognition for it, public recognition on top of that for somebody, or recognition from your family, or recognition from the community, or the or your friends, or your job, or something. Okay, um, and what it says here, you should be patting yourself on your own back. Okay. Yeah, 
because you are accomplishing so many great things. Sometimes we want this recognition, you know, for our, our work or what we're doing, and we want other people to be aware of it. And I get that. I definitely understand it. But it's like I'm still hearing it's like if you're not celebrating even the small accolades, how do you expect other people to actually do the same to see you? Okay, I, I'm I'm hearing a pull from the African goddess that real quick. So let me see something. <clears throat> rage and manifestation okay so yeah it's it's some type of anger or um that's what's interfering here with the with your manifestation okay it could be yeah whatever that energy is all right so take a breath close your eyes and put both hands over your lower abdominum tune into the part of you that feels out of control Flooded with loving, healing, golden light. Now put both hands over your heart and do the same. You have a right to your full range of emotions, including anger. But sacred rage inspires us to do what? Run for office, lead protests, and shift policies. But unhealthy rage can devour your very soul. So get clear on what is really happening. Allow yourself to feel your feelings to see the truth. Just because you feel threatened does not mean you are being threatened, okay? So you have the right to feel what you're feeling, but you got to be careful with that, right? It's like you need to have the sacred rage. That's what's going to manifest, okay, your reality and your desires. All right? I, that, like I said, it feels like it's a flood of um, emotions or something here. Um, the manifestation card, again, it's just about, you know, you getting in alignment with your desire to, to make it rain, okay? But it's going to take you. And remember, your energy is key. It's magnetic. And it attracts exactly what it is that you're feeling. All right? So close your eyes and see your blessings, okay, coming down. Because you are the rainmaker. You are the master manifester. You are the shapeshifter. You are the alchemist, the sorcerer. Open your hands and your heart. Begin co-creating here with spirit, but you're going to have to do it using sacred rage, okay? Not anger or negative emotions, all right? Because it's not going to happen. Release the unhealthy attachment in the pattern, all right, Sage? Um, hopefully that does help. I ain't coming for you. I'm just the messenger. I'm here to help you to make it rain, baby, okay? So hit that like button, y'all. Peace.